In this video, we will explore essential billing engineering calculation questions covering key formulas and techniques that every billing engineer must know. Whether you are calculating material quantities or understanding construction costs, these calculations will help ensure accuracy and efficiency in your project estimation. So before you start, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will be the first to know when I upload something new and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for latest updates. So let's get started. So the first question, how do you calculate the volume of concrete required for a slab with dimensions 6 meter length, 4 meter width and 0 0.15 meter thickness? So the volume of concrete is calculated as volume formula is length into width into thickness. The so length is 6 meter into width is 4 meter into Thickness is 0 0.15 meter. So we are getting 3.6 cubic meter. So the next question, how many bricks are required for a wall of 10 meter length, 3 meter height and 0 0.23 meter thickness? Considering the standard brick size of 0 0.19 meter into 0 0.09 meter into 0 0.09 meter. So number of bricks required, so number of brick formula, volume of wall divided by volume of one brick. So volume of wall, this is length into height into thickness. This is volume of wall. So length is 10 meter length into height is 3 meter height into thickness is 0 0.23 meter thickness divided by volume of one brick that is also 0 0.19 into 0 0.09 into 0 0.09. So we are getting 4484 number of bricks. Next question, how do you calculate the area of plaster required for a wall of 12 meter length, 3 meter height? The area of plaster is calculated as length into height. This area is length into height. Length is 12 meter and height is 3 meter. We are getting 36 square meter. Next, what is the formula to calculate the weight of steel bars and how much does a 12 meter long bar with diameter of 16 mm weigh? The weight of steel bars, weight formula is d square L by 162. D is 16 mm. So, D is 16 mm 16 mm squared into l l is 12 mm long divided by 162 we are getting 18.69 kg next question how do you calculate the quantity of paint required for a wall of 50 square meter if one liter of paint covers 10 square meter The quantity of paint, its formula is total area divided by coverage per liter. The total area is 50 square meter divided by 1 liter of paint covers 10 square meter. So, 10 coverage per liter is 10 square meter. We are getting 5 liters. Next question. How do you calculate the volume of earth excavation for a foundation trench with dimension 20 meter length, 1 meter width and 1.5 meter depth? So the excavation volume, its formula is length into width into depth. So length is 20 meter here, 
width is 1 meter and depth is 1.5 meter. So, length into width into depth, we are getting 30 cubic meter. This is volume of excavation. Next question, how do you calculate the volume of circular co column with a diameter of 0 0.4 meter and height of 4 meter? Volume pi into diameter by 2 square into height. So, volume formula is pi into diameter by 2 square into height. We are getting pi into diameter is 0 0.4 meter divided by 2 and its square into 4. So, value of pi is 3.14 into 0 0.4 by 2 its square at into 4. We are getting 0 0.5 cubic meter. This is volume of circular column. Next question. How do you calculate the area of plastered wall if the wall measures 8 meter in length and 3.5 meter in height? Area length into height. Area formula length into height. So length is 8 meter. Height is 3.5. 5 meter, we are getting 28 square meter. Next question, how do you calculate the weight of a steel bar with a diameter of 20 millimeter and length of 10 meter? Weight is D square L by 162. D is 20 millimeter diameter and length 10 meter. So, 20 square into 10 divided by 162, we are getting 24.69 kg. So, 24.69 kg is weight of steel bar. Next, how much paint is needed for a wall of 40 square meter if 1 liter cover 12 meter square? So, the quantity formula, total area divided by coverage per liter the total area 40 square meter divided by cover is 12 square meter per liter. So, we are getting 3.33 liters. So, 3.33 liters paint is needed for a wall of 40 square meter if 1 liter covers 20 square meter. I hope this billing calculation tips help you improve your accuracy and efficiency in project estimations. Don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe the channel for more valuable contents. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.